Hey guys, Pablo with BND. So today my video was going to be about men's planning versus women's planning. But due to recent things that happened on the internet, um, I decided to change a little bit and I'm actually going to be talking about bullying and, and the most cyber bullying. So I guess you all know um, it, it, one thing that has been happening in the last few days, it seems that the girl actress, seven-year-old Lexi Rabe, she has been bullied by a lot of her followers. So, first of all, you don't bully kids. I mean, it's bad enough if you bully anybody, but a kid that have really no control about anything in the movie, it, it just makes no sense. And part of the reason they're saying, again, I don't have any in on that, uh, I'm just listening to the news about what is going on but one of the whole issues uh, some people are saying it's a SJW kind of issue people are saying that Marvel's trying to whitewash her character um, that's supposedly gonna be the character of Ironheart let me just say one thing about that okay um, it would be the same as if someone said that they blackwashed Nick Fury and honestly, I am more than happy with Nick Fury. It's not like we don't have huge, huge superheroes who are African Americans, Asians, or anything. And again, she's not the one in control of the script or the narrative or anything in the movie. And I guess what you guys don't understand, like, you may be condemning this girl to not even want to be around the street because people are just attacking her. You may actually put her in a situation where she will not even be able to act. So you're just destroying someone's career for something that has nothing to do with her. And that's pretty messed up. I'm just explaining one thing about bullying. When I was 20 years old, I played for about two years for the ASA. If you guys don't know what it is, and I know not many people know soccer, it's the American Soccer Association. So I played for two years for Dan for Story Gales in New York City. Um, I actually played pool and darts divisions in New York City. My team was actually one game to get everything paid to, to play in Las Vegas. I joined the army. I spent almost a decade in the army until they had to med board me because of uh, medical issues. During my time in the army, I was an expert in every single weapon they had for infantry. And that's the thing. So you would say, well, I played sports, I joined the army. During my time in Iraq, during my year in Iraq, I actually went up to be about 200 pounds with 35% body fat. And you know what? I used to get the hell bit out of me until college and I actually started pre-law at the age of 16. So I guess that pretty much puts a picture to you guys that I probably got beat up a lot. 16 years old in college, that means everybody was at least one to two years older than me every single class I did. And you know what is funny? I used to suck in sports. By some reason, when I reached 20, I was able to play sports and I exercised and I did a lot of stuff, but not until then. So I do understand bullying and that was actually one of the reasons why I joined the military. Because I felt the biggest bullies ever were terrorists and at the time I joined um, were in Iraq and Afghanistan fighting terrorists. So yeah, I felt very happy about that. And if you guys think like, uh, oh my god, you still had no reason to join the military. Well, you know, that thing is just something that the president's telling people there are no terrorists in there. We're just trying to steal their oil. You know what? You're freaking stupid. Okay? You're not there. So shut the hell up. And the other thing, I'm from freaking New York. Guess where I was in September 11? I was in Manhattan. I had to walk the Queensboro Bridge back home because there are no trains, there are no type of transportation. People were in that goddamn bridge just opening their cars for anybody to get in because while it was September 11, that day was hot as freaking hell. 
okay? I remember water trucks, I mean, trucks that deliver water bottles, um, their companies just calling those guys and saying, hey, just give it all to the people. They're just like handing bottles, screw money, just give to people. Oh, I have a car, I'm crossing that goddamn bridge, I don't know those people, but I can fit at least 10, a small freaking VW bug. But that's the thing, you're not there, or some of you were, okay? And I know that I used to be a dick, because every time someone that was born in Florida, lived in Florida their whole lives, would tell me how traumatized they were about September 11, because they saw on TV, I swear to God, I wanted to punch the person right there and there. Not because they're traumatized, but because most of them actually try to compare themselves to what I experienced, what I saw people experiencing, the loss I saw of life, my friends drinking for like months, no stop. You have to carry those guys back because of the amount of people they lost, the amount of friends. So yeah, that sucks. And I know I'm going a little bit away from the whole bullying, but that's my point. Terrorists are bullies. Did they fight? Did they try to kill people that actually matter in a sense to the government? No. Okay, they tried to drop one, the White House, whatever. But the first things they hit, they're just people. Okay? And that's what a bully does. So freaking adults, because those people are not kids bullying her even. Freaking adults. Going to her Instagram, and I get it, her mom managed it, got it, but still telling this girl a lot of stupid stuff, that's just wrong. You know what? That's the freak mentality of people that live at 30-something, 40 years old, at their parents' basement, and they feel so sorry for themselves that they need to attack someone. And who they gonna attack? A freaking seven years old, right? Because she won't just punch you right back in the face. People, what the hell? Seriously, I mean, I would love to be showing you guys my next video that, you, you know, it just shows how Google are trying to brainwash you to just think about men's planning. And some conversations I had over Reddit with people trying to Women's explain to me that women's planning does not exist because only men are mean. Yeah, I would love to do that. But you know what? I'd rather take the time today and talk about some really, really defective human beings. They're messing up this girl. You know what? I I'm not going to carry that for too long. I mean, first of all, I feel I'm ranting because I didn't plan this video. I just got pissed off enough to make a video to bring it to light. You know what you guys should do? If you guys have a freaking heart and you're not douche wagons, yeah, it's my own word, okay? I I'm allowed to do that. People will seem to invent whatever the hell they want, so go to her freaking Instagram. You know what? Give some support. If you have kids, definitely go to her Instagram. Give some support. Tell this girl that doesn't matter what some douchebags, some assholes, some morons have to say to her. It's because they're really sorry for themselves and they don't have anything better to do in their day. Because to be honest, this girl needs that. So I have a 15 year old and you know what, I don't feel she would be able to defend herself against people like that. And I mean, she's smart as hell. She's probably gonna give them a smart ass answer. I know that for sure, because she learned from me probably. But the thing is, a seven year old definitely shouldn't, a 15 shouldn't, an 18 year old shouldn't. And, and guys, the truth is, not even a 30 year old should have to deal with bullies. And I know we do. I know people do, no matter the age. I've seen old people being bullied. And, and, okay, but I don't mean like some guy gets on the street to like, hey man, 
what are you doing, old man? No, it's not that. It's like they go to a DMV, they go to a supermarket, and they get bullied by people. Because bullying is not just getting beat up in school, like was my case. Bullying is sometimes being humiliated when they really shouldn't be or they really don't deserve to. Try to think really deep about that. And if you see someone that is bullying someone else, step up. Because true is the change starts with each one of us. The problem is people tend to look at something happen and they just stay quiet. And you know what? If you at any point of your life you bullied people, maybe you should try to help people being bullied kind of to pay it back. I know a lot of times we don't realize we're bullying people or we find excuses like, well, but I used to be bullied too. But it's still not a reason. Now, it is a reason for you to change and make it better. But anyway, guys, I know I'm going for too long. Um, the only thing I have to say is thank you for watching. Uh, try to make some change. Look up this girl, Lexi Rabe. I mean, you know, cute little girl. And I know SJWs are saying that Iron Heart was black, but you know, Miss Potts and Iron Man, they're both white. I mean, I get DNA and stuff could happen, but no. It's not her fault either, so just tell people to shut the hell up. Kind of go stand up for her. And for people you see that go through the same thing. Don't don't just do for her because She's an actress, do for her because she's seven years old. So, thank you again for watching. Um, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow with my regular programming. And um, yeah, thank you all. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give me a like, hit that notifications button, because if not, YouTube will just not even know I exist. Thank you very much. Have a great week.